I'm Bill O'Brien from Ocala, Florida. This is my 56 DeSoto Fireflight Sportsman Coupe. We've got this car in Montana, very rare option car with power steering, power brakes, power windows, power seat, power antenna, tinted glass, white walls, it had everything the factory could give you but air conditioning. A 56,000 original mile car, absolutely rust free. Went from New Mexico to uh, Montana and now it lives in Ocala, Florida. In 1929, Chrysler Corporation wanted to introduce a mid-price car. They already introduced the Plymouth to try and compete with the low-priced Chevrolets and Ford of the era, but they wanted something in the mid-price to compete with General Motors, Buicks, and Oldsmobiles. That was the DeSoto. DeSoto was the first car introduced in that time to sell over 100,000 units in its first year. The very first car to do that. They were only made them up until 1961, and. Uh, by that time, the sales were falling off. Uh, we had gone through a uh, recessionary period in 1958. If you're buying a DeSoto, you're buying essentially a Chrysler with interchangeable sheet metal, so Chrysler Corporation didn't make quite as much money on these, and they decided something had to go. So their last one was made in 1961. In 1956, the standard DeSoto motor was a 330 cubic inch Hemi motor. If you got the Fire Dome, the cheaper model, you got the two-barrel carburetor. If you got the Fire Flight, which this is, it come with the four-barrel carburetor. This being the single four-barrel, probably the, uh, one of the more rare of them, because most of them were Fire Dome. 